today. From Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. It's week 17 of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills taking on Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. To run the table, and you gave me your chances early in the year. You thought maybe 25 percent. A few weeks ago, you thought closer to 50, but not quite 50. Now here they are, 15 and 0. This is happening, isn't it? I think it is. To stay engaged all the way through the season because make it to the finish line, then they get the open week to refresh and re-energize. But if you get off the gas now, that can really hurt you. At the 37-yard line, on play action, Allen. Going deep for Diggs. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs, 37 yards. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the same. Off the play fake. That escapes the sack. Going deep for Diggs. And that's caught inside the 30. And he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory. A big play here for Buffalo. Pretty good timing. He waited just enough for that post play to develop and laid it right in there. And you know what a lot of teams do when they decide to throw a post route? Because it's a little bit longer developing play. They max protect. Bring everyone in, keep the tight end in, an extra back to make sure the quarterback has time. To the last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. On the give, this is Singletary. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Bills have broken the tie. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. They'll run on first down with Singletary. They find some open field here. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Devin Singletary with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Of course, he's fresh off the offensive once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He's got the hookup with Diggs. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Bills. Stephon Diggs, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Bills will add on to their lead. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like they're clicking right now. This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. Singletary, a first down and more. And finally marked down at the 23. 131 yards rushing now for the NFL leader. Come the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. To the air, Allen. And he's got his man here, Beasley. And he's to cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll look to run with Singletary. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Devin Singletary on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Bills are able to add on to their first-half lead. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best. Line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. To throw, it's Allen. Going deep for Diggs. He's got it with the 15. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs has 
the first half is winding down. And the Bills will extend their lead here just before halftime. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so. Fun. They go right back to Singletary. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 152 yards for him. On play action, Allen. Going deep for Diggs. He's got a man complete. Touchdown. Stephon Diggs. And the Bills come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level. Open up this big lead. And now we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? Where everything is working for them, every move they make works, it clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. Here's Singletary. Singletary, a first down and more. Obviously, go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes. Stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. He'll let this thing go for Sanders. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. Touchdown, Bills. Emmanuel Sanders with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Bills head on. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, but I'd be a for you. Singletary to get the drive started. Fighting throw. And up to the 30. Over pursuing and making a very nice play. On second and nine. Allen going deep for Diggs. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, 64 yards. And the Bills get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. And that touchdown reception is the fifth for him in this game, and that ties the NFL record. And a record that's held up since 1950. This is another person that's top. Another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. They'll run on first down. Singletary. And he's got Rome. And he's going to be in. is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20. Now a run with Singletary. And he'll be brought down at the hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Right back to Singletary on second down. Escapes the defender. And taking it to the 15. So the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop. Them. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone <laughs> can stop this. they got full momentum going. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. Go. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. Going deep for Diggs. And that's caught inside the 35. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, business as usual for them. Well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown.
touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder what's their motivation because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not in their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. Hey, and hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Buffalo, they're a win away now from running the table here in the regular season. They move to 16-0 on the year. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis.